So I had the headphones in here, so you know what that means. It's about to be another reaction. So this time we're going to go ahead and we're going to react to um, an episode of the Steve Harvey Show where Tamar, Carrie Hilson, and some other girl was there. I don't know her name. I don't remember her name. And they were asked the question, would you change your looks for your partner? Now, I do live in LA and I'm not going to lie. I do go to this show. I go to the sit in the audience of this show all the time. And I was sitting in the audience this day. We had no idea that Tamar, Carrie Hilson and all them was there and I'm just like oh my gosh like Tamar is there Carrie Hilson I haven't seen Carrie Hilson in a long time she actually kind of looked a little different so I was there in the audience that day and we were just looking around like at each other like with these response so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna watch this and I'm gonna share my thoughts at the end so all right, now, uh, celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay revealed that he lost 50 pounds to save his marriage. Mm. Wow. He said that he felt forced to drop yeah, weight out of fear too. that his wife would leave him over his out. weight gain. Would you be offended if your significant other asked you to lose weight? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Really? I would not oh be offended. Oh, my God. Why would you I be offended, though? I don't know a dude that stupid. Uh, I disagree. Yeah. So no way. Wow. And you I have to lie to you, though? Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't, like don't, no, no, I don't, I don't think don't lie, but I'm also saying you tell a woman, hey, you need to go lose weight, and guess what she's going to go do? She's going to go eat her feelings. Lies. That's what she's going to, she's going to eat herself even worse. Depends I on the woman. Cool, yeah, depends on the cool woman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I have to, this is what I have to say, though. Yeah. It's not like you don't feel yourself slipping. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I right. would rather for my mate to come tell me that you look in a hot mess yeah. than for yeah. you to go out here and get you somebody <laughs> who looking better than me right. when you just could have had a conversation hot with me. Right. I'm just saying, it's a conversation, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And just like you said, it's, it's a lot of ways to spin. You can be like, you know, we ain't finna eat no carbs no more. Let's just, right. let's go on the fast. Hallelujah for the Lord. Yeah. 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 That's the way you can do it. Oh, you know Lord. Lord. That's right. But I, I agree. I agree. Like, I want, I know, I want to still be, it's important to me, I think, to continue to be attracted. Like, what you fell in love with, who you met. Come on, stay When there. we met. I want to stay as close to that, what really reeled you in, as I can. Right. So, if I'm slipping... That means I think, right. Now, first of all, I think you can lose weight for someone else. Agreed. You understand? I think you could. I mean, that's part of the motivation. Most people, especially men, and see Gordon Ramsay losing that weight because he's afraid of losing his wife. Because, see, all men can change. All men will change. But there's only one woman that will change for. Yes. Absolutely. And so I would lose weight for somebody else. Have you ever changed anything for a man? Have you ever changed yeah, absolutely. for a man? Absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it right there. So about the whole like weight thingy, like, okay, this is how I feel about that. So I just feel like if it was me personally and like say my boyfriend or my husband told me like, girl, you was fat, you need to lose weight, then of course I'm gonna feel some type of way because it's like, dang, like the world is already freaking up here judging me because I'm big, you know, and if I post on social media, he goes social media and the world is telling me this is what's pretty, this is how you should look, you should be a size two, you should be a size zero, you know, nowadays size six is considered plus size, you know, and so just to just hear that all the time, like on the outside, that would like hurt, but like you go home and then you hear from your boyfriend or your husband or something that would be like, oh, dang, like, I'm hearing on the outside and I got to come home and hear this too. Like, it can make you feel some type of way. But I think the approach is what matters. So, like, if you came, came up to me and you said, hey, like, hey, honey, like, you want to go to the gym or well, I'm on my way to the gym, you want to come with me? Or maybe we should start, like, doing family walks or something. Like, it depends on your approach and how you say it. Like, if you this Ramsey guy, like, he lost the weight for her, like his girl, because he was afraid of losing her. Now, I get that because that is like motivation, you know. And I think it's a good thing to have some type of motivation. Like, you want to look good and you want to stay your best for your spouse or your significant other, you know. So, it's nothing wrong with that. Like, I'm, I'm for it. Like, I mean, I am, but 
I, I just feel like if you want to change yourself, you need to change it for yourself. That's pretty much how I feel, not really for somebody else. I mean, having that spouse, you know, that gives you that extra push, that extra kicker that you need, you know, definitely. My husband keeps asking me to change my attitude, but that's not happening. So. Oh, no, that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But no, no, definitely. And I believe in that, though. I believe in, you know, being attractive for your mate. Like, I used to be like, sis, I used to have all blonde wigs. I still have 150,000 of them at my house since I don't shave my head off. You know what I mean? They're for sale, by the way. Because oh, <laughs> I won't be needing them anymore. But, you know, I, I, he, Vince liked blonde head, light, fed women. And, you know, I just wasn't born with no blonde hair. Yeah. But for me, I just think that's a responsibility that women have. It's to stay yeah. current for your man. When you're not taking care of yourself, you just don't feel good. So you're not going to feel good in the bedroom. You're not going to feel good in your life in general. So really, you just need to take care of yourself for you to be yeah. your best you. But now yeah. listen to this, though. Thank you. Listen, listen. Women have to understand uh -huh. this. It does not make men bad. But you need to understand this about us. We like what we like. Period. We are aesthetic people. We are visual creatures. Yeah. The fact that you done decided you ain't gonna wear makeup no more, that ain't got nothing to do with what we like. Point blank. If I got to keep looking for it outside of I'm my house, somebody. then I'm gonna go outside of my house. It's Period. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna talk about my thoughts as far as what Tamar said. So. Um, I wish they played the whole clip, but they didn't play everything. They cut and edit some things out. But basically, Tamar was saying things like she changed her look for her husband. He he liked women with blonde hair, so guess what? She has a whole bunch of blonde wigs because that's what he liked. And then when she said she finds out like he like uh, like red hair or something, she'll go change her hair, get wig red wig or whatever and be that because that's what he likes and so she ch she does that so that way she could keep him interested and everything like that along those lines and then it, it continue on that's when steve harvey is like you know they they are they like what they like and if you're not giving them what they like they're going to go find it somewhere else and he he backed up and agreed with what carrie hilson said because carrie hilson said like um, and you guys heard, she said, like, she tries to be, she wants to be as close to what she was when, you know, they first met. And the thing is about that, you can try, you can try to be that person, but it's not going to happen because as women, things happen to us. Our body changes. We start to, our skin starts to sag a little bit. Boobs may become saggy, you know. Um, a lot of women, when they have the babies, like the hips spread out or they get bigger and gain a lot of weight. And sometimes, like, as far as, like, makeup and stuff goes, like, some of us, like, if I wore makeup all the time when we first met, when I get older, it's like, okay, like, why do I need to wear makeup anymore? Especially after learning about these ingredients and stuff that's in these makeup. So, I mean, like, maybe I don't want to wear makeup anymore just because... I just don't want to. So if a guy feels like he needs to leave me because I'm not that same person I was back then, you know, or I changed a little bit, then that means he never loved you to begin with. Like, he was just with you for your appearance or your looks or whatever like that. And a lot of times, like, we live in a generation nowadays where it's like side chicks are winning and men leaving their main chicks to be with their side piece and the reason that they do that is because they're not getting what they you know they're not getting what they want at home so they went to go find it somewhere else which is true or maybe sometimes they just go and look for people that look good on their shoulders but you know men these days they always sit and they say that they want a real woman you know they want someone that's loyal that has their back and that would do stuff for them and provide for them and then they get mad when they get a chick that is what's considered beautiful and they treat them like trash or they end up being a gold digger or they're not as loyal as your main chick was or, you know, they're not doing the things that your main chick did. And then you learn to appreciate, dang, like my main chick was everything. You know, you start to realize everything she brought to the table and the reasons that you had actually loved her to begin with or you were with her. And I feel like if he if it gets to the point where you have to try to look like you did 15 years ago in order to keep a dude like 
it's not worth it. If he decides he wants to leave you because, or cheats on you because you're not that same person, then he never loved you to begin with, you know. He's just with you. He was just with you because you looked good on his arm at the time. And now you, you don't look good on his arm anymore. So now he wants to go find somebody else that does, you know. And it's just to me like, it's just false and misleading because I just feel like if we want to change, we should change for ourselves, not because of a dude, you know. Like, I mean, it's nothing wrong with having motivation as far as losing weight or keeping yourself together. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not the point. Um, to do that stuff for your spouse, like, that is completely fine. But the thing is, if I want to lose weight, I want to lose weight for me. Not because you want me to lose weight. I'm not going because it doesn't work like that. You have to want the change in order to see the results. And that's just literally how I feel. I'm not sitting here and expecting you to change. So why is it that you expect me to change? You know, like I like Channing Tatum, I like Chris Brown, I like Usher, I like Nelly, I like Zayn, you know. And I'm not sitting here comparing them to you. I'm not sitting here like Chris Brown, for instance, like to change his hair color or change his hair or change his styles or get like a whole bunch of tattoos or whatever, you know, that's things that I like about him, like on the outside that I find attractive for him. But I'm with you for a reason. You may not have all those tattoos. I do like guys who are clean and don't have a lot of tattoos, you know, but for Chris Brown, it works for him. But you, like, I like you. I'm with you. You know, I'm not expecting you to go dye your hair red because Chris Brown did it or go get a whole bunch of tattoos just because Chris Brown did it. or Chris Brown is like that and because I think he's attractive you know I don't know Chris Brown in real life you know I am with you because there's qualities about you that I like your personality your style your sense of humor you know Chris Brown may not have none of that Channing Tatum may not have none of that you know um what they got for them they could sing they got money they look out looks, maybe they got plastic surgery, stuff like that. I don't know, you know, but you, you have a dope ass personality and that's why I'm with you. So I don't expect you to go change your look like a certain way. Like, so why is it that you expect me to be a certain way? I feel like if I want to wear blonde wigs, I should wear blonde wigs because I want to not to keep a man happy. That's just literally how I feel, you know, if you leave me because I'm not wearing blonde wigs or whatever, then bye. Bye. Go find somebody else. That do it. You want a divorce? Bye. Do sis. Like that's that's literally just how I feel. So I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you think and how you feel about it. And um I'll talk to you all in the next video.